Sports Zone on 7 News. Moundsville getting warm against the Toledo Hawks at the JB Chambers I-470 complex. The Hawks got run ruled against the Wheeling Wild Things Saturday. Sunday was kinder to them. Before this game, they eliminated Wheeling Post 1. Here's some nice hurling by Neely in the second to get us started. He gets Craig to strike out swinging in the second inning. The Hawks came to swing the sticks after scoring just one run in that game against the Wild Things yesterday. And the third, Hoffman draws contact and scoots one out of the infield to bring in a run. It's 3-0 to zero, Toledo. The Hawks did an even better job of not allowing hits. Goik gets a man looking to end the inning. Goik would go on to pitch a gym, and we'll see more on that later. It was a rough day for Moundsville. Vance cuts one over to Pratt. Pratt's throw doesn't exactly cut the mustard. The air allows two Hawks to come in standing up, 8 to nothing in the fifth. Now down 9-0, to zero, Kramer grounds one to McGowan. He initiates a 5-4-3 double play. Close play at first, but Kramer is punched out. What is more special is that Moundsville did not register a single hit in the whole game. Yes, it was a shortened five-inning game, but Goik throws a no-no for the Hawks. A no-hitter is thrown, and Moundsville is eliminated.